Hey everyone, it's Moise here from Remax Impact Realty. You can call me Mo if it's easier. I actively sell real estate across the Durham region and GTA as a full-time sales representative. And in today's episode of Property or Deal of the Week, we are taking a little tour to Oshawa to showcase a brand new townhome option. Just allow me to boom myself here in the corner. So introducing the Harmony Creek townhomes, the builder is Conservatory Group. At this time, of they have only two units left, and it would be the middle Bayfield model right here. Now, here are a few notary mentions about this project. For one, this is a brand new build. The completion is expected to be in one year to a year and a half from the time of purchase. These townhomes are freehold 100%. No condo fee, no maintenance fee, and they do have a back yard. Now, these townhomes are being constructed in a built community. So the community is already built, schools already developed, the park's already there. It's just a few streets that are getting brand new townhomes. So it's already in a well-established and developed community. Now, my favorite part about these townhomes is not only how spacious they are, and we'll get to the floor plan in a second, but every single model comes with a professionally finished basement directly from the builder, which also has a three or four piece washroom, depending on the model. This model has a three piece washroom. So let's go over prices really quickly first. This middle unit right here, and I'll show you the site plan in a moment. This is just under $1,140,000. The total square feet or footage is going to be between 2,397 square feet to 2,402 square feet, depending on the elevation that's available at that time. And the basement area is roughly 591 square feet. This is the same square footage as many detached homes currently available for sale. The builder is really not cheaping out. They're building quality townhomes. Now, this is phase three. I sold phase one and phase two, and I've seen phase one completion already, and these units are so pretty. So let's focus on the floor plan, and let's begin with where my mouse is right now. So you have your cover porch which then walks into the foyer of your home. The closet's on the left-hand side. The garage is on the right-hand side. And depending on the grading, you might have an entrance to the garage from the foyer. That's, that then leads to your main hall. Your powder room is on the main level to the left. Further ahead, you have your stairs going upstairs and downstairs. And then you have your open concept dining and great room. And this whole hallway right here, this space right here, is massive. It's very big for a townhome. To the right-hand side, you have your kitchen, island, and breakfast area, which walks out to your private backyard. Now, when you take your stairs and you come half a story up, to the right is an upstairs family room, upstairs recreation room. Now, this floor plan has three bedrooms, one, two, three, and the rec room. You also do have the ability to take out the rec room upstairs and get an upstairs fourth bedroom. You have the ability to do so. So if you take half the stairs and you come to the right, you will be welcome to your family room, which does have the gas fireplace optional. And this part right here would be vaulted ceiling. It's a higher ceiling, kind of shaped like a triangle. And it really makes this place and the, the floor plan feel more bright and spacious. You take the stairs going to the left, you will come upstairs and we will begin with the master bedroom. So you have the master bedroom to the left. You have a big walk-in closet. And from there, you go into your ensuite washroom, which has your standing shower and a soaker's tub. Your second bedroom with its closet. Your third bedroom is in the opposite end with a closet. And there is also a common area, full washroom in this townhome as well. Many townhomes these days only have one common area washroom upstairs. This one has two. Now let's take the same stairs and go all the way to your basement. As soon as you come downstairs, you will be welcomed with your basement washroom. You have your finished basement. 
massive area. And then you also have your basement laundry tucked away as well. And then further ahead is your furnace. Now I've seen this completed. The fact that the furnace is in the corner is, is very well laid out. It, it, it's not sticking in the middle of the basement. Many homes, you might've noticed that they have the furnace right there in the middle. This is all the way in the corner, very thoughtfully laid out. So now I will go over the site plan with you, bear with me. And after that, I will show you comparable sales. All right, so here is the site plan. This complex is off of Kettering Drive and right here is Townland Drive. Phase one is complete. Phase two is being renovated, is currently being constructed, sorry. And phase three is to come up for sale later on. Now, this specific unit is in block 33, unit two. Block 33, unit two. So this right here would be your townhome. And as you can see, this is a very, very deep lot. And this area right here does not have a sidewalk. Over here is currently your ravine. And at some point they will have a future Roslyn Road extension at this time of they do not. And you also have a ravine right here. So very quiet area. Only the people that live here really will be coming through this circle. Everybody else will be taking this road to get to the second area of the neighborhood. This area right here is very private, very secluded and very quiet. Now, comparable sales because when we analyze, we look at comparable sales. So now we are going to look at comparable sales to give you a rough idea on the value and the deal that townhome offers. So just to give you a quick idea, this right here is 58 Great Gabe Crescent. This home offered three bedroom, very similar to the subject property that we're looking at in Harmony Creek, and it offered three washroom, one fear washroom. This home did not have an upstairs recreation room. The basement was finished and the home offered just under 2,000 square feet. Our subject property was around 2,400 square feet. This home did also not have a monthly maintenance fee. It was a freehold townhome and it's just under five years of age. I'll really quickly take you through the photos. I love the fact that it's a corner unit. They also extended the driveway to add two cars or four cars side by side. This is vinyl exterior. It also has the porch and the terrace upstairs. I love that finish, but very similar layout in terms of dining and family room, but a smaller uh, layout overall because it is less square feet. Now, I love the accent wall here in the Breakfast area, love the upgraded and waterfall countertop, countertop, sorry, mouthful. Carpet upstairs, finished basement, recreation room. This home was listed for $950,000. After being on the market for two days, it sold for $1,200,000. And the subject property that we are looking at is $50,000 less than this home. And it's brand new. It offers more space. And it also has a finished basement with the washroom. So overall, it's an amazing deal. Now, notary mentions with new builds, with new builds, you have a deposit structure. The builder is only asking for a hundred thousand dollars deposit for the townhome. However, because the purchase price is above a million dollars, you are required to have 20% of purchase price on closing to get a mortgage. Now we've sold many of these units. There's two left right now. If you are interested, my email address is listed in the description below. Reach out to me directly there. And then what we're gonna do is I will send you the floor plan, the links, all the availabilities, presuming that they're still available at that time of. And then next week's episode, we will look at Ajax and see what type of deals are available there. As always, if you have any questions or if you want to book a home buyer consultation, reach out to me directly. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps me tremendously. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.